hi and welcome along to the North Lodge Cottage Garden. The next rose I'd like to talk to you about is actually an old rose and not an officially a David Austin rose. One of those ones that I wanted to include in National Rose Month this year, still grown and produced by David Austin roses and well worth your consideration if you're looking for a small climbing rose in your garden. The beautiful rose behind me is Blush Noisette. Bred and introduced in 1817, it's a very, very old cultivar, which is well worth your consideration. I grow it here in the North Lodge Cottage Garden up the side of my rose arch. I have the blush noisette on one side with a quite pure white clematis. On the other side, for dark contrast, I have tests of the d'Urbervilles. Both roses really highly fragranced and both roses highly recommended by myself. It's a short climber and completely virtually thornless. It only reaches around 10 feet, so very, very manageable for most people's domestic gardens and absolutely perfect for growing up an obelisk, a post or the, or the post of a pergola. It's really very manageable and has very pale green foliage and absolutely stunning, highly fragrant, light pink blooms. Let's cut some and get them up close for you. Right, here they are absolutely stunning very very dark pink buds open to this absolutely stunning apple blossom white with a lovely little yellow eye now i grew this rose and bought this rose because i wanted to add it to floral arrangements it adds that wonderful sense of whimsy fairy tale and the cottage garden feel to any floral arrangement. Lovely little tiny rosettes of flowers measuring about an inch to an inch and a half across are born in massive sprays. And you can see the rose behind me is going to be absolutely smothered in flowers in the next couple of weeks. Born in clusters of 10, 15, 20, and even 30 at a time, this rose is gonna start flowering in the very beginning of June and it will work its way all the way through, continuously working hard to the very, very back end of the season. And is often in flower right at the very end at the very beginning of the frosts. It's very reliable, very true, and completely disease resistant. I have no problems whatsoever with this rose with black spot, mold, or mildew. The aphids do like it at the very beginning of the season, but the, the ladybirds soon see them off. The biggest plus point with this particular rose is not only does it flower profusely all the way through the year, but it has an amazing fragrance, which I say adds to its beauty and charm. It's warm and spicy. It has notes of the old English rose fragrance, but it's also a lot warmer than that. You're thinking of five spice spice, sandalwood and cloves, and small amounts of pepper. It really is a stunning climbing rose for you to consider for your garden. So in synopsis, Blush Noisette, still produced and grown by David Austin Roses, one of the old climbers I grow at uh, North Lodge Cottage Garden, is a perfect choice for a small modern garden where you want to add a sense of whimsy and fairy tale. Very, very lovely, very, very dainty, and really, really beautiful. Add it to your garden and pair it with a clematis. I've chosen a white clematis for mine, but you could have something uh, a little more color contrasting or plant it alongside another striking color, for instance, Tess at the D'Urbervilles to give you a beautiful show. But this is Blush Noisette, an old climbing rose, reaching around 10 feet and still available from David Austin Roses.